edition of DYI Tender Moments. And today we are making a wedding broom. Custom wedding broom. So who's getting ready to jump the broom? Uh, which represents sweeping away the old, ushering in the new. That's one uh, a way of looking at it. I'm excited for our Tender Moments Bride and Groom. Uh, wedding that is coming up they wanted a really simple broom so today what I have gathered here of course the broom and we do sell uh, the brooms the bear brooms on our website um, as part of our Dubai uh, broom kits so you can uh, go to tenemoments.org and check that out I'm also going to put a link below in the description box um, so we've got our broom we've got my glue gun heating up as we speak, can't do anything without the glue gun. Uh, just got some white ribbon, uh, white double face satin ribbon here. Some lace, so they said we could add some lace to the top to finish it off a little bit. Again, just a really simple but elegant look. So I went to my local bath fabric store I end up getting a half a yard of lace. I really don't think we're going to use the whole half a yard, but I didn't want to have to be wrong or need an awkward cut and need to go back. So, half a yard with that. I've got one brooch here that we're going to use to accent it. And that's pretty much it. Oh, some pearls. So, we'll probably add um, some pearls to accent the top of the broom. Uh, and add some pearl scatter with that. But other than that, that's it. That's all we've got going on. Just to keep it like a real clean, simple, uh, basic look. So, first things first, we are going to wrap our handle. Now, these brooms, like you see this here, it's got just like a little flyaway. So, you can always trim off um, whatever you need to trim off to, to do that. So, Again, I've got my something out on this one, so I'm just gonna put that on piece that I don't want to use. So I always start off cutting like some shorter strips like this. So I'm gonna do three of those. And what that allows us to do is make a handle, well cover the end of the handle and make like a hanger for the handle. So take your broom and I'm just gonna crisscross it. So I'm gonna put this one here. There'll be a little bit of the end showing. And so I'll take the second piece and overlap that. So again, I've got my glue gun going. Side. 
there you have it. We got it all wrapped up, went up to the top. Okay, got our room. So now that we have this wrapped, I'm gonna add some of this lace. They only wanted the lace to cover the top. So I'm just going to play around with it a little bit. I like this edge of the lace. So I'm going to lay it out. I think it would be gorgeous if it went down the whole broom. But this is for an order. And they only just wanted the top part. So I'm just eyeballing it. See how that looks? Isn't that pretty? So I am going to mark off probably to about right here. So wow, we had a ton of fabric left. But again, I just did what I thought so that I wouldn't run into an issue. So to give it a clean edge and not have it fray, I'm going to take it off and just fold it over one time of make like a little a little seam if you will let's see if I have some pins so I've got a, just a couple corsage pins on hand so again, I just want to, thought I would hot glue it, but I'm nervous about that part. So I'm just going to flip it over, pin one end, pin the other end. Because the point is, I just don't want the frayed end out and exposed. So I'm gonna take my another glue stick. I'm gonna lay it on here how I want it. Again, it's folded over one time just to give us a little seam. I'm just adding a thin little line of glue right there. Get it to lay down. sit just a little bit so you can kind of see I just put glue going right here now I'm going to turn it over
And I think I'm just gonna take my pin, corsage pin, and just go straight down in there, touching it to make sure there's nothing sticking out. I think that may be the easiest way to close this down. Because I think that glue might give us a big mess. sure nothing's sticking out that could hurt anybody. And there you have it. Got the front of the room. Now this little piece, these pieces in the back are trying to flap down. So I think I will just add a little dab of glue so we can get them to behave. Stay in place. Okay. Okay. So you can see I pinned along the back, added a little glue. This is how the front is looking. Very simple, nice and neat. Now I'm going to add our brooch. She wanted the brooch down where the transition happens from the lace transitioning to the main handle. So what I'm going to do is get my pliers so I can take that doing <clears throat> on the back of the brooch there is the where you would usually pin it on yourself I'm just taking my pliers and bending it off taking it off so this back piece comes off and now I've just got the flat part of the brooch and that's because I think it'll just be easier to lay it down flat and get it glued on that way. go back and add some rhinestones up here or some pearls at the top um, just simple embellishments or again if you've got somebody who's like hey less is more there it is just a simple calling this one of our simple elegance room designs and it didn't take too long for us to make it we've got it made again you can kind of customize it to how you want if you want to add more bling or if you want to add more lace or 
add different embellishments. Let me know what you guys think about this broom. And uh, if you give it a try, I'd love to have you send me some pictures or tag us on social media at Tender Moments LLC on our Instagram and Facebook. Um, and we can feature you on our Make It Mondays. But yeah, that's it. Simple, elegant wedding broom design. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And of course, if you have not already subscribed and liked our page, I do invite you to hit the subscribe button and like this video so that you don't miss out on any Tinder moments. That's it for today. Bye.